Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. Today I'm going to give a review on the new Realme 7 and let's see what's make this phone the true upgrade from the previous version the Realme 6. Stay till the end and also subscribe to my channel. So let's start with this video. Myself Isham Pazdil and you're watching Mr. Technical Boss. This is the new Realme 7 and this phone is not a big upgrade from the previous version the Realme 6. There is only some minor updates compared to the previous version. But anyways the minor updates are in design, chipset, camera and battery. So let's start with the design. Realme 7 comes with polycarbonate which is expected in this range and it is same as matte finish. If you compare the design with Realme 6, the new design looks better and I like the camera layout of Realme 7 which is better than Realme 6 and all the buttons, SIM tray and side motor fingerprint scanner are placed the same as the previous version. Now let's talk about the display. Realme 7 comes with a 6.5 inch IPS LCD Full HD Plus 90Hz display with Gorilla Glass 3 protection and with punch hole design. If you compare the display of Realme 6 and Realme 7 on paper it looks similar but when you keep this phone side by side then you can see the difference that Realme 7 has better display with little bit more punchy color and with this 90Hz refresh rate this phone feels really fluid. If you compare the display with this competition, then yeah, Realme 7 has only one advantage that is its 90Hz refresh rate, which is really good. But if you compare the panels, then its rivals are better. And Realme 7 has L1 certification, so you can watch Amazon Prime Video Netflix in Full HD. Now let's talk about the processor. Realme 7 comes with upgrade of MediaTek Helio G95 with up to 8GB LPDDR4X RAM and up to 120GB UFS 2.1 storage. It is a good processor and you will have no problem in daily tasking and even while playing games. You will have no problem whatsoever. And the upgrade is its faster GPU compared to the Realme 6. Here are some benchmark scores of Realme 6 and Realme 7 and you can see the scores of Realme 7 is better. And in gaming it can play heavy games easily. It will not lag and gaming experience will be good. And it is also has carbon fiber cooling system which will help it to cool down the new G95 processor. Now let's talk about the new camera setup in Realme 7. This gets quad camera setup with 64 megapixel IMX682 main camera, then 8 megapixel ultra wide lens, then 2 megapixel macro lens, then 2 megapixel depth lens. And the camera setup is good. But having 2 megapixel macro and depth lens is useless. The photo and macro lens are fine and companies keep those lens only for marketing and nothing else. Here are some camera samples, do let me know in the comment section what you people think about this camera and if you are enjoying this video a subscribe would be appreciated. Now let's talk about the battery. Realme 7 comes with 5000 mAh battery with 30 watt dart charger. Being a 5000 mAh battery, the battery backup is very good, no doubt, and even the charging speed is very good. It will last one and a half days easily. And apart from this, the Realme 7 comes with Realme UI, which is quite good in my opinion. I am a kind of person who never liked Chinese brand phones UI skin, but this feels good. And it has some pre-installed app which can be uninstalled. At last, I would say this is a quite good phone. It has better battery, same screen but I would like to have AMOLED panel but anyways we get LCD here. This phone has very good charging speed. If you are a busy person who has no time to charge for an hour and all this could be the phone for you. But I would give my perfect choice between 7 and 7 Pro only after reviewing the 7 Pro. So stay tuned for that. So that's it for now. Don't forget the like button, share the video with your friends and please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload new tech videos. And also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, link will be available in the description. Thanks for watching, myself Ishaan Fazil and you are watching Mr. Technical Boss.